So what you can see here um, might look like a horrible, horrible mess, but I'm actually preparing a working surface for uh, decorating the cover of my mini album. And what I've done is I squeezed some paint onto a plastic carrier bag and I've scrunched it up a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cardboard cover on there and I'm going to roll the brayer across and what we should get is a really interesting texture. So I'm going to continue to do that with the other side and the other half of my book and then we'll move on to another colour. Next I'm going to take another plastic bag, clean one, and I'm going to put a different colour on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with using a few different shades of paint um, and it's going to be green. Uh, and really smoosh those up so that we get a nice interesting pattern coming through. So I'm going to take one of the already painted covers and I'm just going to plunk it right down there and I'll put some tissue paper on top just to protect the cover from getting too stained with paint and I'm just going to roll it across and there you go, and see there's quite a lot of paint there, that's what's going to happen, that's the first one, and that's really thick, so I've already learned that it needs to be a bit thinner, so I'm not going to put any more paint on for now, I'm going to take another, another cover, I'm going to put that on, now my tissue paper's dirty, that's fine, I'm going to give it a quick That's what's wrong with my brayer. I'm going to give it a quick roll across again. And there we've got some really interesting patterns going on. What I'm actually going to do with this, this one that's too thick is I'm going to put the two together. And I'm going to smoosh them around a bit. And then I'm going to take them apart. And so we've got... Oh, it looks a bit like camo actually. We've got a bit of a... different texture going on there. So I'm going to leave those to dry or I'm going to dry them with my drying tool. Now we've got a dried um, smooshed up painty working surface. Um, you can see the patterns and the different colours there. Um, I'm going to experiment now with some other um, liquid colour tools I have at my disposal. I have a, a small pot of I guess it could be oil paint. It came in a kit to make um, tie-dye patterns. Um, what you do is you put drops of this into a, a little tray of water and then s sort of drag your sheet of paper through and it comes up with all of these kind of tie-dye style patterns. And I'm going to use it without the water. Um, and also, obviously, some spray. Cosmic should have missed this one is. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to squeeze this one and drop it in a few places onto my working surface and then I'm going to get my heat drying tool and I'm going to try to blow the paint around. Now you can see the patterns are completely random. Um, if you don't like anything at any stage um, I guess you have to just bear in mind that you're going to be putting more layers on top so um, you might be hiding stuff along the way and in the end anyway for me this is just going to be a background so it will be covered with other embellishments and things as we go along. Okay now I'm taking my spray, the trusty Punchinella. I've uh, got to remember about some kind of protection here um, and I'm just going to give this a good, a good few sprays. I don't know if it's really going to work on this surface, but it kind of, you can kind of see. And it's going to add to the texture. And just so you can see what I've done with mine, um, here is my mini album that I've used my two canvases as the cover of. 
Uh, I've stuck loads of stuff on top of it, as you can see, but the layers, the depth still really comes through, showing all of those patterns of the paint and the mist and whatever. So really, the key is just experiment, give it a go and have fun doing it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out girlshalchemy.com, also my blog which is craft-thing.blogspot.com. Thanks again and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.